One of the things that's really nice about working here is that we have a very close-knit group of specialists so that if there's a particular problem that I need a resource for one of my patients, that resource is available and it's available right around the corner. I've been practicing in central Pennsylvania for almost 30 years in different capacities. I've always seen that there has not been a place that provides high quality care with easy access, with good people that was patient friendly, and that's what this center is. Pediatric gastroenterology is a fairly new specialty. I was sort of the first group of physicians to become board certified. So one of the things that's nice about having a little bit of a longer career is to be able to see the advances in medicine and how much more we can do now than either 10 or 20 years ago. Charlotte is this darling little eight-year-old girl who I first met about a year ago. She had been having problems with abdominal pain and weakness and now had to be brought around in a wheelchair. I couldn't run, I couldn't walk. I had to quit gymnastics. Back in October of 2021, Charlotte was having stomach problems, um, went to the pediatrician, they recommended getting blood work done. The results came back and then they referred us to go see a GI specialist. When I first met her, I had a pretty good inkling of what was going on. So after a number of tests, we were able to make a diagnosis of Crohn's disease and get her started on treatment. Getting the diagnosis, it was pretty scary. Coming to Dr. Devaney, he did a wonderful job of helping us relax and explaining the treatment plans that could be possibilities for Charlotte. Our main goal was obviously to get her back up to having energy, the ability to walk, and just to be a typical kid. I have more energy now. I can do cartwheels, I can do handstands, I can play soccer again with my siblings. I even started martial arts. It's why I come to work for kids like her. When folks bring their kids to get medical care, they're bringing in what's the most important thing to them. I try to treat every child as if they're my own children. To see them come in sick and ill and ultimately get healthy. And when I get a little bit older, send them off to college and see how they do.